Young Jedi Adventures, Season 1, Episode 14. Thoughts? This episode is called Charhound Chase slash Creature Comforts. I realize I'm a little slow getting to this one. I'm not sure anybody's really waiting with bated breath for me to get to these, so I did not quite prioritize them. Let's dive right in. Um, right, yes, and spoilers for everything Star Wars, up to and including this episode. So yeah, we meet the, the Charhound, and it's basically like a dragon dog, which... Yeah, not gonna lie, that is... That has a, a pretty strong appeal, like... You know, any any kid who's into Star Wars probably likes dragons, too, you know. And... Let's see. And, and especially because it's it's the it's a playful dog, you know. It's the very stereotypical kind of dog. It's not the the scary, angry, biting kind. It's the one that really wants to play fetch. And yeah, we again see that Kai is struggling with you know being being sufficiently patient. You know, he wants to impress his idol and yeah. There's not much else to, to say. I'm not sure they needed to make another episode, or half episode, quite like this. But, you know, it's... Yeah. Like, for the, for the intended age group, this show continues to really nail it. I haven't really seen anything where I felt like, okay, that's just completely wrong for them. And, yeah, the second half of the episode, Liz finds the, the little baby, you know, looks like, looks like that dinosaur with the, with the tail, I, f I forget what it's called. But, but yeah, names it Diggles, and, yeah, basically, you know, she wants to take it back to Tanu and take care of it, you know, the, this kind of stereotypical you know, young, yeah, little, little girl thing of, of wanting to take care of, um, yeah, the, the instinct to nurture, basically, is what it's about, and, yeah, the episode points out it, it's wrong to take animals out of their natural habitat, so, yeah, you know, very, very important message, and something that, children can understand. I feel like if you're not in the intended age group, you pretty quickly piece together that that's Diggle's mom. But, yeah, you know, this is for small children, like six, seven-year-olds. You know, for... Yeah, for, for them, it's maybe good to 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 not just blurt it out right away, to, to build to the the reveal. And I don't really have anything else to say. Um, oh, huh. So, IMDb trivia for this episode. This episode features the first on screen appearance of Loden Greatstorm, Bell Zetifor, and his Charhound Ember from the High Republic novels and comic series. And the. Let's see. Yeah, the episode fits within an extremely tight window within the canon. Yeah, very cool. So, so yeah, that's in part to, to help you know, draw in longtime fans. If, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I have. Um, yeah, you know, the show continues to, to, you know, yeah, if you're not in the intended age range, it can feel... Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm trying to judge it based on who it's who it's made for. If this was the pacing for something made for grown-ups, I would be like, this is kind of slow. But yeah, the, the I've I don't know a huge amount about it, but I have heard that 
research shows that when you're teaching small children things, yeah, you do kind of have to, you know, by adults' standards, you have to really just, like, make it extremely obvious in, in order for them to, to fully comprehend and absorb that information. So, yeah, you know, the, the show is, yeah, following that research.